Hi guys, this is Yard Vlog 15 farm update. So I thought I'd do a, keep you guys up to date with the, the clean up that's been happening. Been moving a lot of caravans around, sorting out up there. So, sorting out the cow shed as well. For all you lot that's following me, I thought I'd keep these going and uh, you'll see the progress then. Hi right, Bob. Yeah, so the horses have been rehomed. I think it's next week. They're looking good. Like I said, I'll be having calves. Hello, Bob. Bob. I'll be having Dexter calves uh, next year. So I can't really keep the horses as well. So I right, just go through into the cow shed. It's still out of a mess here. I haven't done this yet, but I've made up a good bit of a start in here. Looking more like what it used to be. Look at that dog. Let me chuck him some food in there, shut him up. Maybe I chuck Bob some food to shut him up a bit. Anyway, the dog, that is. So, cleaned out a lot in here. I just want to pressure wash the top now, well, the sides, get all the cobwebs off. Pressure wash it, white lime in here. I dug all the floor out. We had uh, concrete blocks in here because it was for the horses. But it's back like a proper uh, runaway now. For the order for the cows. I'm gonna fix the bottom of these stalls, yeah? So put some wood in there. This will be nice then. I'm gonna put new light lights in here and some uh, electric sockets. That's why we're locking them out at the moment. Uh, I'm gonna put a new gate on there, make a door for there. So like I said, next year there'll be calves by you instead of horses. There's all the blocks we took out. So that's where we are on you, yeah? but it's nice to see it like this. It's coming back now, as it used to be. It's all soaked away, and see, it was down under the ground, and we get all our work in as well. Oh, he's off again. Bob's off again. I'm going to sort this out. Oh, I'm going to put a bull by yeah? There were six stalls there, so we have six cows in there tied up at night, because you always get them in, especially through the winter. And I have a little bowl on you. I'm going to put a stronger pole, pole here and uh, tighten it up a bit and make a, a trough, by a proper trough for him here as well. Then. And in here I might have either a loose box for calves, same again, sort of floor out here. We'll put a few styes by here as well, a few stalls by there. When I clean this out you'll see what I mean then when I start doing it. I'll take all the wood from the top. I've got four months, they said, to get it all sorted, but uh, I think it could go a bit longer, as long as it's three quarter done. Out here, I haven't really done nothing yet, but next week I'm going to get out here. I'm going to clean all this up, clean around here. We get it, eh? Finish this wall, sort the house out, finish the front. I haven't done it because it's been, just been so wet and... Well, it's been so busy. I can't but I cut the grass. Sheep wire there. So the yard will be last, like I said. Um, oh, let me show you some of the work they've done on the house. Did we saw that last time. It's looking pretty good now when I paint it white now. White washer would be nice. New roof on there. And I knew we from that one. But this was yours, because in the conservatory my father my father put this up. I got a new window to go in there and I get a PVC door to go on there. Just as I was videoing my I ordered new climbing rope. My Marlow rope turned up. Some people don't like Marlow stuff, but I don't mind it. I said it's only for my own thing, because Oh let me get out of there. I'm gonna on a table down my The vein's starting again now. I just bought them bloody puncture-proof wheels and set up having punches all the time. So I give up on that now, so here they are. Only from the tool station, 22 quid. The other one's been all right on the other barrel, the Walsall barrel. So we're digging up a lot of scrap we are as well, taking an alley. I'll show you on the back. I broke up a caravan. So I've been busy. Yes, yeah, so let's just turn up now. Let's turn in 
Yeah, so it's just cheaper. So as this Marlow, I had Marlow years ago. It's all right. Got a free bag there. Marlow Rebel bag. It's all right. I had I tech one before. I bet the stuff before. 25 meter. It was like 70 quid. Cut this off in there. I'm going to get my climbing stuff back. I need my own purpose on the farm. So no, uh, none of you lot jumping in. Why haven't I got my license for climbing? It's my own benefit of ladders. I just like to be a bit safe. If you watch my pets video, show my harness. i just explain why. Sorry. There we are. Shows away. 70 odd. Kiko. Marlow Kiko. Is this place on the one end, like it has to be. That's what I wanted. In happy days. Yeah, the Yale XTC Plus. There we are. I'm happy with that. I'll do me all right, I will. Like I said, it was 70 quid. I'm like, I'm cheap. Really cheap. For 71. No, 79, sorry. 80 quid with a free bag. You reckon they're 15? So, can't fault it. That's like 65 quid. That's a free bag, really. So, well, I've got to buy the bag as well. So, let's carry on. I've got a bit of a problem, to be honest with you. Well, it's getting to a problem. I just got addiction for ladders. Buying ladders, and podiums, and stuff like that. I'll show you what I mean. You've seen me doing edge trimming videos. You've seen. Bit dark in here. Can't really have that. So there's two podiums I use. I bought some stuff from over my house. Um, my big end today. You see me doing conifer jobs off there. And use my little end. But I actually want a bigger one. So I will look for a two meter one. It's a 1.7 in the future. But that's a light, light make. Made in Swansea, not far away from me. Anyway, here's my ladder collection. Three big step ladders. Fiber last ones there, extending ladders there. But look at this beauty I just bought last week, well, no, two weeks ago. Industrial 15 run triple, um, light as well, made on Swansea. Hell of a good ladder. So we're using that on some, just to get into some of the tree work I do like, or will be doing, just to finish off what I cut a few years ago, but didn't cut them neat enough. Like I said, only for myself on the farm. I will get lots more yet. I do like ladders, I've got to be honest. I mulched that yesterday. That shows how fast the leaves come back down. That was just for the video, just to show how to do it. I do pick a lot of it up. But like I'd, like I'd done the video yesterday, I had a hell of a pile there, and it just mulched all down. These trees are coming down before next year, so I'll run the leaves off them too then. I'll show you, we're having the house gutted, pretty much in April. New central heating, because there's no central heating there, it's just two open fires and a gas fire in the kitchen, that's all that's in there. Always have been, it's all I've ever been. So that'd be good for my mother. Um, central heating, new electrics, so all I'll be done in April. So sobbly, I'll be taking it over around that time then, the tenancy. So it's going to get all ready by then, really, as well. Let me show what I'm doing up here. This is the main bit. I would hell of a move about up here. You might think, what the hell is that? I'm putting a fence around here, a big boarded fence. Obviously, it won't be this colour. Like, detuned, downtoned, like a green. Do all the front of that shed there with tin. Joining on with a panel across there with a door in. And I'll come round, round the back end, round you. So that fence will continue around and it'll stop the ISO. Because that is an ISO. I know that, same as anyone else. I've got to repair all that building, but I'll do that in the future. So it'll give me then. So it'll give me my own compound then, in you. The fence will come round, come round you, come down you, pretty much down you. All lying there, it's a private compound then. Um, apart, separated from the caravan storage. 
just want to keep this tidy just as caravans have two gates across the bottom you're going to gate into that then into my compound behind with the tractors and keep all that stuff behind there so that'll be good so um over the next few weeks now i'll try to come around with there i got pretty much enough stuff you know if i just come to there for a minute sun's coming out now nice so anyway up here now i've had a hell of a move around you'll see what i mean now all the ones that's pretty much, to be honest, they're not paying. Oh, they're just scruffy. I moved them. I made the place a different shape now. As you can see, up behind that, the fiesta by you, to the side of that tent, that was the back of it. But years ago, we was a lot further. I bought it down. Look how empty it is now. i got to move that van from scrapping out of there. Look. Moved a lot out. So we're going to put all stakes in the ground then all um, numbers for the people. I've got to sort these two out here. I think they'll be going them too there. So we're left with three. 28 caravans go in the centre here. So i got about 20 spaces, over 20 spaces, ready to go with new people. So that will be tidy. Just set it all out. Moved all the cars from over there and all the old stuff from around there. I broke up one caravan, that's what I've been doing. i got another one to break up for there. Gonna drag her down. When I mean break it up, I mean break it up to nothing. So good job, bonfire night is coming up. So I've all the wood, a lot of stuff. Use all the aluminium, the sides. That's all we're left with. That's the roof of one there. There's all the, the, the side. Well, that's all the wood over there. So we broke up one the cushions. A um, lot of aluminium on the back of you. So there's one complete caravan over there, in bits, there's the windows. So we're going to drag down another one, so we've got one more to go over there. You can see how bare it is now. And i got to get, well, like I said, 28 will go in the middle. Around 40, well, 50 will come across the side there. I should imagine 60. By the time I get down the sides there, all caravans will come back down here then. Got to clean all this away there. And I buy a mulch blade next week. And I buy an Oregon mulch blade and, and try it out and do a video. There was so much bramble to cut. I could put the edge trim on a tractor, but it's awkward because some of the place I gotta get in, you can't get it there. Eh? So keep an eye out for that. Let me give it a good test. With my van over there, brother. Now you can see how bare it is. Now the van gotta be scrapped next week over there, that old white one. And uh, we get in there then. There'll be fresh, new people coming here, new caravans. I've got to fence it all, I've cut all this down here, cut some of the trees back while the caravans have moved now. Oh, this wasn't here before, so this is what I've done over the last few weeks. This was just the field, I did an A on this last year. All my implements now, so all my implements will come out and they go the other side, behind that, or, or in the other field. I've got to roll them up somewhere and just sort them out. I'm going to get caravans, this, that, I'm moving that bay from there. So we caravans all the way up through here, all the way up. That's why I need to, I'm going to try that brush cut the blade, the mulching blade for the strimmer. And give it a good go, because look how much stuff i got to do here. Because the yard stand used to come up here, we used to have caravans up here before, see? That's why I don't want to lose. I'm going to go back to where they were, the size it was. So I'm using up what fence I got. So I created this fence here. I gotta cut all this back. Look how much I gotta cut out here. So there'll be some good videos for next week. Look, look at that for a test. So go down there. This is only a temporary fence really, it will be palisade fence going across here once the caravans come in. It'll be an eight-foot palisade fence, like a permanent fence here for the gate. The gate then to go through into the field. Still a bit of grazing there. Eh? For the cows and if I have a few sheep. So these are all moved up now. If the people get up to date or whatever and wash them, um, these will come back down then. But until then, they stay in by there. There's a few more to come up. And I'll have caravans. I think I'll have another row, a few more rows in here. One across the back there, 
maybe one in the centre that's facing out. So I've got big plans. Let's just get it all fenced, really. Main thing, cleaned up and fenced. New lights I'm going to put up then, on the corners. So that's what I'll be up to. So I think you'll see, it's a bit of a change. But um, the next time now, next video, all this will be cleared away. I got a lot more out of this fence. They said to come down both sides. Just use what I got first, and then start buying it in. Then, bloody rain's coming back now. Got all this I got to clean up. By I said, I got to strip that caravan. So that's the next job. Look at this. How rough it's gone, by And cut all this down, yeah. And clean all the way down. Like I said, caravans will come all the way down here then. But like I said, I got a stake out the middle now. I can put 28. I can put 28 caravans here then, just in the centre. Yeah, well there we are. I think uh, you get the idea what I mean then. So that fence will come round there and it'll just stop that view. But I'd leave you down there until I sort that out later date then behind near the shed. I'd knock it down the back bit. Well I gotta paint the roof, I gotta try to sort it all out like. But um, it'll just take the eyes off it then and it creates a, like I said a compound for me behind. Good job I come in. The ovens have opened up now. Oh, let me shut that door, buddy. Stuff's getting wet in here. Not, not good. Oh, it's coming down now. So anyway, that's it. So, I'll leave it there. And there'll be plenty more to follow. Look out for the next vlog. Uh, doing like a month's time or a few weeks time well that's it check out my channel for weekly uploads please like and subscribe thanks for watching cheers